as well as being devastating emotionally, IVF can cripple people financially. But we have found ways with sharing eggs between two and three couples to make it a lot more cost effective. And then we've addressed the biggest anxiety that patients have, which is they're going to pursue a lot of treatment, spend a great deal of time and effort and money, and not have anything in the end. And we have a unique shared risk program that allows them to have a fixed fee, very transparent. If they have a successful delivery, we've earned that fee. And if they don't, and they can stop treatment at any time, they get a 100% refund of those fees. Money back uh, and IVF don't normally go together in the same sentence. I was hesitant because I thought, I, I can't believe such a program exists. And it sounds like a sort of horrible capitalist concept, that it's sort of a baby or your money back. But actually what I found immensely reassuring about it is that the business couldn't sustain if that didn't work. We're incredibly transparent and we've been around for 24 years. We do, you know, we see 10,000 new patients a year. Da -da. Da -da. We know that for an initiated cycle, 42% of patients will deliver. And we know that given a certain number of cycles, about 85 to 90% will deliver. So we can price it exactly right. You're getting the cost of IVF, the cost of pre-screening the egg donor, the fee paid to the egg donor for her eggs, and the medication costs for the egg donor. And when you take all four components and you package it together, it gives you a lump sum that allows you to know what you're going in for right, at, right up front. The Money Back program um, allows you to do this multiple times for a flat fee. You pay up front to have six treatments. If you did all these things separately, you just couldn't afford it. So that was reassuring that you didn't think you were always looking for more money. You've got that incredible uh, level of security to know, not that you ever want to have to fall back on it, that if it doesn't work, it's not going to cost you anything. If you feel that you can't continue, whether it's been too traumatic or you just feel you've reached the end of the road um, and you don't want all those treatments, you get all your money back. The amount of confidence that these people have is extraordinary. And it was at that point that we thought, you know what, well, we have to go for this. Because you put a lot of investment, both financial and, and, and emotional, into doing this, you want to, to actually believe that the person that's treating you and overseeing your treatment believes in it as well. We know people are putting an enormous amount of faith in us in terms of the effort, the travel, the expense, and we have many steps in place, you know, to make them comfortable. And most importantly, we want them to really get to know us before they have to make any financial commitment at all. So uh, Amanda Siegel, who is our international donor liaison, is typically the first person in the US who they will talk to. She walks them through the whole program from A to Z. In addition, we've added Sarah Esdale, who's a, a local UK liaison, who you know, has great personal experience and insight into this. And we find that it's very easy for our UK patients to talk to someone local. So I always talk to them for about half an hour to go through their medical history. I'm going to give them very clear black and white information as to the likelihood of them getting pregnant. At every point, we're there to support the patient, to pursue what treatment is right for them, and to help them through that journey. 